This meeting is being recorded. Let's start. Um, Assalamu alaikum, Khawatino Hazrat. Khatun, Khatun and Hazrat. चलें पर ये भी हम समझ सकते हैं ना कि बाद में अगर किसी ने देखा YouTube पे तो उसमें शायद खबरें भी हों और फिलहाल अस्सलाम वालेकुम खातून और हजरत वालेकुम अस्सलाम हजरत तो आज हमारा महावार महीनेवार प्रोग्राम सोशल गैदरिंग का शुरू करते हैं इससे पहले के हम जाएं अपनी जो खास खास तकरीब है उसकी तरफ जाएं मैं पहले गुजारिश करूंगा नसरीन से अगर वो कुछ पढ़ना चाहें अच्छा जी थैंक यू ये फैज अहमद फैज का कलाम है छोटा सा चलो अब ऐसे करते हैं सितारे बांट लेते हैं चलो अब ऐसे करते हैं सितारे बांट लेते हैं जरूरत के मुताबिक हम सहारे बांट लेते हैं मोहब्बत करने वालों की तिजारत भी अनोखी है मोहब्बत करने वालों की तिजारत भी अनोखी है मुनाफा छोड़ देते हैं खसारे बांट लेते हैं अगर मिलना नहीं मुमकिन वो मेमन नहीं होते वैसे <laughs> मोहब्बत करने वालों की तिजारत भी अनोखी है मुनाफा छोड़ देते हैं खसारे बांट लेते हैं अगर मिलना नहीं मुमकिन तो लहरों पर कदम रखकर अभी दरियाए उल्फत के किनारे बांट लेते हैं मेरी झोली में जितने भी वफा के फूल हैं उनको मेरी झोली में जितने भी वफा के फूल हैं उनको इकट्ठे बैठकर सारे के सारे बांट लेते हैं मोहब्बत के अलावा पास अपने कुछ नहीं है फैज मोहब्बत के अलावा पास अपने कुछ नहीं है फैज इसी दौलत को हम किस्मत के मारे बांट लेते हैं थैंक यू बहुत अच्छा थैंक यू तो नसरीन आप असगर भाई के साथ बांटेंगी कि बाकी भी हम मजा में घूमेंगे उसमें असगर के साथ तो जिंदगी बांट ली अब और क्या रह गया बाकी अच्छा चले बहुत अच्छा तो अब मैं गुजारिश करूंगा तसद भाई अगर आप कुछ पढ़ना चाहें हाँ बिस्मिल्लाह हसरत जयपुरी का एक शहर है मौत आ गई न आएंगे वो मरने के बाद भी मौत आ गई न आएंगे वो मरने के बाद भी आंखें तरसती रह गई जिसके इंतजार में आंखें तरसती रह गई जिनके इंतजार में अब मेरे पास गालिब की एक गजल है समात फरमाइए मेरी आवाज बराबर आई अब असगर भाई अच्छा दर्द मिन्नत कशे दवा न हुआ दर्द मिन्नत कशे दवा न हुआ मैं न अच्छा हुआ बुरा न हुआ जमा करते हो क्यों रकीबों को जमा करते हो क्यों रकीबों को एक तमाशा हुआ गिला न हुआ हम हम कहाँ किस्मत आजमाने जाएं हम कहाँ किस्मत आजमाने जाएं तू ही जब खंजर आजमा न हुआ बहुत अच्छे बहुत अच्छे कितने शीरी हैं तेरे लब के रकीब कितने शीरी हैं तेरे लब के रकीब गालियां खा के बेमजा न हुआ है खबर गरम उनके आने की है खबर गरम उनके आने की 
आज ही घर में बोरिया न हुआ क्या क्या वो निमरूद की खुदाई थी क्या क्या वो निमरूद की खुदाई थी बंदगी में मेरा भला न हुआ जान दी दी हुई उसी की थी जान दी दी हुई उसी की थी हक तो ये है कि हक अदा न हुआ जख्म गर दब गया लहू न थमा जख्म गर दब गया लहू न थमा काम गर रुक गया रवा न हुआ रह जनी है के दिल सतानी है रह जनी है के दिल सतानी है लेके दिल दिल सता रवाना हुआ कुछ तो पढ़िए के लोग कहते हैं कुछ तो पढ़िए के लोग कहते हैं आज गालिब गजल सरा न हुआ आज गालिब गजल सरा न हुआ दर्द मिन्नत कशे दवा न हुआ मैं न अच्छा हुआ बुरा न हुआ शुक्रिया बहुत खूब बहुत शुक्रिया तस्दक भाई तो पता नहीं पर शुक्र है आज तो गजल सरा हो गए तो और किसी ने कुछ मुख्तसर कोई नजम गजल या कुछ कहना हो साहब है महमूद हसन भी है जो अक्सर पढ़ते हैं जी महमूद साहब आप कुछ पढ़ना चाहेंगे जी मेरी आवाज आ रही है आपको जी आ रही है आ रही है आ रही है ये कथा अर्ज करना चाहूंगा ये वहाँ पे जैसे आप मालूम है जो लोग कराची में रहते हैं कि वहां पर गुलशन इकबाल एक जगह है तो ये कथा कहते हैं किसी ने कहा है कि एक मोहब्ब शायर मशरक से मैंने ये कहा एक मोहब्ब शायर मशरक से मैंने ये कहा कुछ तो फरमाइए हुजूर इकबाल के अहवाल में कुछ तो फरमाइए हुजूर इकबाल के अहवाल में बोले अल्लामा से बस इतनी ही नस्बत है मुझे बोले अल्लामा से बस इतनी ही नस्बत है मुझे मैंने बनवा ली है कोठी गुलशन इकबाल में वाह वाह शुक्रिया महमूद भाई और कोई कुछ मुख्तसर कहना चाहेंगे क्या मैं कुछ अर्ज कर सकता हूँ जी मेरे ख्याल में अभी कुछ वक्त है अच्छा ये भी एक एक बहुत अच्छा जी थी क्या बोलते हैं प्यारी थी शकील बदायू ने की आवाज दो हम एक हैं हम एक हैं आवाज दो हम एक हैं हम एक हैं एक हैं ये वक्त सोने का नहीं ये वक्त खोने का नहीं उठो वतन खतरे में है जागो चमन खतरे में है फूलों के चेहरे जर्द है जुल्फे फिजा की गर्द है उमड़ा हुआ तूफान है नगरे में पाकिस्तान है दुश्मन से नफरत फर्ज है घर की हिफाजत फर्ज है बेदार हो बेदार हो आमाद पेकार हो शुक्रिया इसमें पाकिस्तान कहाँ से आ गया इसलिए मैं मैं खुद हिंदुस्तान चेंज करके पाकिस्तान लगा दिया वैसे मैं ऐसा था नगरे में बोले ना नगरे में हिंदुस्तान के बदले में बोला नगरे में पाकिस्तान है दुश्मन से नफरत फर्ज है घर की हिफाजत फर्ज है बेदार हो बेदार हो आमाद है पैकार हो आवाज दो आवाज दो आवाज दो हम एक है हम एक है असल में ये शकीर बदानी लिखे थे जब भी चीन में और हिंदुस्तान में जंग हुई थी जंग हुई थी हुई थी ना में इंडिया में और चीन में हुई थी ना इन ऑर्डर टू गेट एवरीबडी ऑल टूगेदर ही रोड इज शायर यू नो ऐसा तो मुझे इतनी अच्छी लगी उसकी इतनी अच्छी लगी तो मैं उसका हिंदुस्तान निकाल के पाकिस्तान लगा दिया हूँ दोनों पे लगता है पर बहुत शुक्रिया भाई 
एक कोई जावेद साहब हैं जावेद साहब हैं वो अपने आप को आइडेंटिफाई करें कौन है वो अपना वीडियो भी ऑफ है उनका और ऑडियो भी ऑफ है अगर वो आइडेंटिफाई नहीं करेंगे तो उनको रिमूव किया जा सकता है क्योंकि हमें नहीं पता कौन इसमें लोग हैक भी करते हैं वरसीम बरेवलवी साहब आपकी आप म्यूटेड हैं अगर बात करनी है तो वो अनम्यूट कर सकते हैं मुझे कुछ खास लेकिन जैसे आपने कहा मैंने आप अपने आप को अनम्यूट किया है देखिए अगर कुछ कहना हो तो मैं जरूर शामिल हूँ ठीक है जावेद साहब अगर आप अपने आप को आइडेंटिफाई नहीं करेंगे तो मैं रिमूव कर रहा हूँ आपको तो आम, अगर अब शुरू किया जाए मेरे ख्याल में वक्त होने वाला है तो खास प्रोग्राम की तरफ आते हैं आम, और अब मैं अंग्रेजी में बात करूंगा ताकि अगर बाद में किसी ने ये सुनना हुआ तो उनको भी समझ आए अगर कोई गैर उर्दू स्पीकिंग हो या हमारे जो जवान लोग हैं जिनको शायद इतनी अच्छी उर्दू नहीं आती so i'll uh, start speaking in english now um the topic today is cryptocurrency and the technology behind it and uh, asghar bhai has kindly agreed to uh, go through and explain it to to those of us who don't uh, quite understand and i i am um, definitely one of them i just cannot wrap my head around this cryptocurrency and how it works and uh, what what all to do with it so i would be really uh, i think all of us would be really happy to to know uh, what it is all about um asghar bhai uh, needs no introduction he has been a pillar of uh, our community here in south bay and also in sacramento previously um for for decades now Uh, he is a um, investor in equities and real estate uh, he has written a, a book on personal financial planning he has also given lectures on that um, in in pacc and professionally um, he he did his um, electrical engineering from nd karachi and a masters uh, in conductors from ucla and um, and and then worked um, Uh, in in various uh, high tech companies for 34 years and uh, he also uh, despite all of his um, uh, his professional activities he founded um, co-founded uh, pscc and he is on the board and and the treasurer so um, now request um, asghar bhai to uh, tell us about cryptocurrency thank you very much uh, uh, asim uh, i am going to go through the slide i'll share slides with you uh, one of the thing which is there are there are like about 15 or so slides so if you have questions uh, ask through chat first at the end we'll go through chat and if still anybody has question then you can ask because sometimes the uh, the first question you ask is actually coming in the next few slides of the answer so so that 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 will be better for me mostly because i don't want that to be interrupted when i'm going through the slides so let me uh, start with the slide I'm sorry. Just one minute. Share. Uh, 
you didn't see the slide right not yet okay okay now now we will see it do you see yes now we can see okay so as asim said i am going to grow, go through cryptocurrency and actually i'll reverse it because without without knowing the technology or understanding at least a little bit about crypt technology behind it it will be very difficult to understand uh, what cryptocurrency is so i'll go through that these are some of the disclaimers and some references uh, i am not, not an expert in this area and uh, so my presentation may not be correct if you are an engineer you will understand quite a bit of it if you are a computer scientist or computer engineer you most probably understand more than i do so but still if there are any question uh, or if there is any correction please let me know or uh, you can educate me and other people also now cryptocurrency has been a rage these days all over in like stock market when you open it is just always something is going on with cryptocurrency uh, so this is not meant to be a financial advice you should not start buying cryptocurrency or shun cryptocurrency based on what i present here you should really talk to some expert especially your broker or somebody who understands this in more detail than i do i'll go through some pros and cons but it's still a, it it will be difficult uh i'll tell you what i am doing in that area uh this is especially the the technology behind it quite complex at least for me it's quite complex uh and i've tried to simplify as much as i could but it's still it could be kind of to me still it's uh, it's complex uh in the presentation uh i'll use cryptocurrency and bitcoin interchangeably but i'll go through some specific bitcoin specific items also which is the most popular cryptocurrency at this time references are google many books from uh, mil peters library khan academy had some videos but they seem to be old they don't explain the technology that that well so this will i'll go through history of money Uh, what is this all about i mean we are using this for a century the millenniums uh, general crypto cryptography what is a cryptography and then cryptocurrency history where did it start uh, what is the technology behind this and this concept of hash or tags is the key foundation of uh, cryptocurrency example of hash and the blockchain without blockchain there will not be any cryptocurrency uh, i'll give an example of cryptocurrency transaction how how you can do it you other uses of blockchain because this is a very powerful technology and the last one which i understand the least is cryptocurrency mining which is also a rage if you have very large computer and large budget you can do that <laughs> i'll use like a cryptocurrency generally for the typing <laughs> uh, cc i'll use it as cc now there are excuse me uh, there are from day uh, day of counting there are many ways to count numbers uh, there was a there was a numbering system earlier in uh, mesopotamia which was based on 6 means 1 through 6 not 1 through 10 or 0 through 9 so decimal is 0 through 9 but there are many many other ways to do that there are, so in heck, this is the computer uh, way of talking about it is 0 through f and that's called base 16 means hexadecimal for 10 is a hexadecimal for uh, 15 is f and you will see some of these but there will be kind of you will not be able to make any sense of out of it when i print it show you that computers generally use hexadecimal and the old computers the the when you people did assembly language the instructions were in uh, de decimal there was no like add or subtract was not add or subtract now it's uh, programming is uh, uh, improved quite a bit people do very sophisticated thing you can generally do like 
regular language and it will, the computer will understand. But at that time, it will be, it was just like uh, hexadecimal. Some, most of the earlier, uh, like I worked on um, 8080, which was the first kind of first uh, microcomputer. And it was, uh, it was less than 256 uh, instruction on that. So it was very easy to do it in two numbers. So like FF is 256. So that, that was easy at that time, but now it has changed and it's different. What is money? Money is store of value, anything which store value. And store value means what? You can buy something from it, you can uh, trans transfer something it, and it has always dependent on trust. Even at the old barter system, when uh, uh, there was no currency per se, no notes or there, there, a bushel of wheat for a pair of shoes. And it was always supply and demand. By the way, still is supply and demand. Uh, so right now inflation, like yesterday, they 7%. So the supply is uh, tight and demand is high. So that's, that was the old system. After that, people started using uh, precious items as, as currencies. So for, uh, many places in the world, even in South America, I read two books on South America recently. They used to uh, use shells and beads, which were difficult to find. Uh, then came the precious metal like gold, silver, and now platinum also. They are, they are rare, but they are also hard and to mine or find. And then again, like diamond, diamond is even more difficult to mine. Uh, especially gold, silver, gold especially, silver is not that much value. They are very heavy, so it's very difficult to transport. You cannot just take a, a one million dollar in gold with you in a, in a suitcase. Uh, first of all, TSA will not allow it, but <laughs> so, so then in, uh, in Spain, not Spain, in Turkey, Anatolia, the first they started gold coins, and which was in like in 600 BC, so like 2600 years ago. And even before that, China started paper money because they invented paper first. China was the first one who invented paper. After that, uh, gold always was the uh, was the kind of base uh, uh, value. So uh, until 73 in USA. Gold was backed by gold reserve, and uh, Federal Reserve uh, has, has a vault where all of the gold is stored. It's still, there is gold there, but it, it doesn't now relate to the dollar or dollar bill. Now, they, they stopped that. That was in Nixon's time in uh, 1973. They stopped it, and almost everybody in the world now has stopped it. Nobody uses gold as a reserve. Now it is based on faith and credit of issuing currency. And this paper money is called fiat money. I don't understand why it's called fiat money. Fiat is a car company in my mind. So, so it's, uh, but you can, uh, you can see what happens uh, when in USA, when the uh, economy is bad, the value of the dollar goes down against Euro if the Europe is doing better. So it's always based on issuing credit uh, of uh, issuing currency. So that like last uh, two months they were in uh, November and December, there was a problem in Congress that they were not increasing the debt limit. If they didn't increase the debt limit, that then U.S. will default on a lot of uh, debt in there and that dropped the U.S. Uh, dollar value. So that's what the his kind of in short history of money is. Now, in general cryptography, it's been used for decades. You don't realize it, but uh, it's, the term comes from Greek word cryptologos, means secret writing, cryptography. Ancient time, uh, the hidden message has been used uh, like through uh, pigeons or through smoke, kind of smoke in there. If think of it as a Morse code. And then uh, in World War II, there was a machine which is on the side of it. You can see the 
no, sorry. Uh, let me just go back. Nazi used a machine called Enigma, and they used to uh, communicate with different uh, uh, army se segments, platoons, and and what to do next or what are, what is coming in there. And since it was all uh, secret, uh, the Allied forces were not able to predict, uh, see what Germany was going to do or the German army is going to do. In uh, 1943, I think, or around that time, uh, somebody from Britain broke the this Enigma machine. And Nazis or uh, Germans did not know that Allied forces have broke this code. So now Allied forces were in upper hand. They knew exactly what the German army would do. And they would take the precautions or whatever action they had to take to, de to defeat whatever German army was going to do. So that was one of the mo most famous uh, use of cryptography. Now this is a this is another system which is called private public key. Uh, like this is very simple example is a safe deposit box. What you have is a private key. If you go to the safe deposit box, they have one key which opens all the safe deposit box. But unless they have your key, your key uh, uh, safe deposit box will not open. So that's called private key, but this is hardware. This, private and public key system. Uh, there are many computer applications where this public-private key mechanism is used. In a, one way or the other, it is the same thing, like two-factor authentic authentication, like uh, if you have, uh, like right now I, I use PayPal for something, and before they, when you sign in, and then you sign, we put your uh, password, you were in PayPal system. Now they are asking to, they will send a code to your smartphone, to your phone, and you have to put that code in there now. That code is very unique code. Nobody else knows it. So unless you put in there, you are not verified and you will not be able to do anything. Similarly, there, is, there are RSA cards. I'll show this. This is, a, this is one which one of my broker uses, interactive broker. And what it does is actually there is a number which is constant, constantly changing, which is private key. Unless you use that, so you have to have this card. There are two, actually two things. First, I put my pin in there. Then I, uh, then it sends me a challenge. So I put the challenge and it comes a kind of long eight digit number, totally random. Unless you put that in, you cannot get to the account. So this is called RSA cards. RSA itself is a is a uh, old, uh, very old, 1971, I think, or before that, it started and it's been used for many places. I think it's not. I don't know whether it's used right now, but RSA is like uh, 4,000 to uh, I mean 2,000 to 4, 5,000 bit long uh, key in there. So it's very difficult to defeat that key. So that's generally about cryptography, general cryptography. And this is base of what we are going to talk about cryptocurrency also. So a little bit of history again of cryptocurrency. These days, unless you have currency regular note in your hand, it's all just the bits in, in somebody's computer, right? Bank, uh, like your credit card. There is no currency in there. There is no notes in there, but you can use it, and a com company will pay for it. So it is a still electronic payment system, which is a value of exchange. Uh, generally, not backed by any currency. Cryptocurrency is not backed by any real currency. Cryptocurrency. Uh, cryptocurrency is like another payment system, like we have credit card, debit card or bank, bank accounts. So in, uh, in 2019, 2009, uh, this is still a mystery whether it was a person or a group who invented Bitcoin in 2009. And that story is that uh, he made his technology public and then he disappeared, question mark. 
Now there are two people these days. They say that they know who the what is the who is the who was Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, it seems like Japanese name, but nobody knows whether it really came from Japan. So many of the cryptocurrencies now use variation of uh, uh, this Nakamoto's uh, invention. Uh, behind it is an electronic sequence of number which you are not decipherable. It's like again a private key and it's called hash or tags. So let me just explain what that one is. Hash is a computer generated output from a known input. I'll give an example in next slide. So any input, anything, even a picture can be transformed into a hexadecimal numbers of fixed length, which is called, and it's like there's a complex math, and then the output is called hash. Uh, so it, 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 it always the same, uh, same input will get the same hash. No matter what you change, it is always will really be the same whether it's 256, 64-bit uh, 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 or 256 bit is still the same, uh, exactly same uh, number there. Now, the best part about this is that this is very difficult to get original input from hash. You cannot reverse it. There are ways to do it, but that's where the uh, cryptocurrency technology comes in there. Now, again, to generate hash, there are many different uh, varieties. It's called MD1, MD5, SH256, uh, MD1, MD5 are kind of older one. They seem to be easily reversible and they are not used in cryptocurrency. Uh, SHA256, 256 means it's a 256 bit hexadecimal number. Is the latest one which is extremely difficult to reverse. Nothing is impossible. If you have enough computer power, you can reverse it. But I'll, I'll go through that. Why is it so difficult, especially in the cryptocurrency? Although it, cryptocurrency has been hacked also, there is a history of that. So what are the prop, desired property of hash? It should be com computationally efficient. It should not take a lot of time. It should not take a lot of computer po power. Otherwise, the transaction will take long time. Right? I mean, if you if it takes two hours, uh, people then don't have two hours to to verify the transaction. As I said, same generator, uh, exact uh, same gen input generates exactly the same hash. It should be extremely difficult to get same hash for two different inputs. Even one bit change will give you a different hash. So it, it's it's almost impossible. Again, not nothing is impossible, and it hides information about original input. Hash will be a, like a random number. I'll give you a couple of examples here. So, so this is an example of hash with using MD5 hash value. So this is Superman. This is the hash. It looks like garb, uh, garbled number, right? It's a hexadecimal number, but it's garbled. Similarly, this sentence is this uh, then uh, shopping list here is this and even a photograph you can hash it with this you can see that now what i said is that if you, i change one number it will not come back and say it's superman it will it will be garbage total garbage i have to say exactly the way it is said to get back to superman right so i, I think this is simple enough to understand so this is like example of first Bitcoin transaction. Now we are coming to exactly the Bitcoin. So Nakamoto, this is the hash of the first transaction. And then in this one, I took out a lot of things where it says this is a confirmed transaction. This is the time when it was received. Input was total zero Bitcoin because there were no Bitcoins at that time. And output was 50 bitcoins, and there are generally fees. And by that time, he was the inventor, so there was zero fees. And the value of that transaction was seven dollar and eighty-eight cents. Now think about it. He bought from nothing. He bought seven dollar and eighty-eight cents. In today's price, that's like 
$400,000. <laughs> so, $300,000, $400,000. Now, one thing which he put in there that only, only a maximum of 21 bitcoins can be mined. And I'll talk about mine, mining later. And already there are about 1.9 million, 1.9, 19 million, I'm sorry, it's not 1.9, 19 million in circulation. And the way it is set up is that it, when more and more is mined like gold, it's more and more difficult to mine more. It's like you are, you are on, a, on a beach and you have you are this uh, metal detector and you're trying to find coins. If somebody has already mined 10 times, the 11th time it will be very difficult to find any coin there, right? Because somebody has mined most of it. So now this is the real backbone of the crypto transaction or cryptocurrency. And this is a still kind of thinking of from the old point of view from the banking. It's like think of it as a spreadsheet. Uh, every bank is when you make a uh, deposit or a withdrawal, it makes an entry into a ledger. On old system it was paper, now it's on computer. But it each financial system has its own system. So it doesn't talk to in, in, each other. They don't share their ledgers. This is kind of ledger means like in accounting, it's ledger is accounting ledger. I mean, transactions are, uh, are uh, put in there. So cryptocurrency is using, using very extremely large ledger or spreadsheet. And all of the transaction for particular cryptocurrency is one big large ledger. And each transaction is called a block. And that's why it's blockchain and how blockchain becomes. So here, if you look at here, this is the first block. Somebody started it. And whatever the previous hash, and this is to simplify, it says 000. Right? There, is no, there was nothing before that, so it's 000. Uh, the current hash for this block is 22B1, 2ZB1. So next block, when somebody does a transaction, kind of buy something or sell something from there, it has to have the old previous uh, hash and it should generate the new hash. And then same thing again if block three, the third transaction. So this is, you can see, is a chain. And this is whole thing is called blockchain. Now, I am not very uh, expert in this thing. I try to read a lot and still it is very difficult to see each transaction going through. I'll go through some, one or a couple of examples which will make it easy. At least it made me easy for me. So, this all blockchains for Bitcoin, now this is we are talking about Bitcoin only, are copied in about 70,000 computers worldwide. And these computers are called nodes. And this is like peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Each node can talk to each other. Uh, this nodes, why would somebody do that on their computer? So they get a fee, a node gets a fee for each transaction, very small amount, but they get fee, again, small Bitcoin. All changes are updated. So if I make a transaction on Bitcoin, all nodes will update that within 10 minutes. So this is fast, I mean, for like, 70,000 computers to update it. And it happens automatically. Nobody has to go to their computer and do something. Computer has to be, that node has to be on, powered on, but nobody has to do anything. It's the whole system is set up that it will do automatically. So the other thing which is called voting in another way, not the election voting, that at least 50% nodes, nodes must match for a blockchain to be valid. If it's 49.999%, that blockchain will not be valid. So at least 50% of the node. Generally, all the nodes will match, or 99% of the nodes will match. So if somebody wants to hack it, they have to hack 35,000 computers in 10 minutes. And like, like I showed you, the, that uh, hash and the Bitcoin, uh, the blockchain is a long, long random numbers. He'll need a lot of computer power to do that. Most probably impossible. As I said, people have done this. This is what I've heard. I have not, 
seen any real uh, example of that, but you you hear that. What? All right. So how do you do cryptocurrency transaction? And now I'm going to go through like uh, Bitcoin or uh, especially, but uh, we'll talk about others also. So if you want to do Bitcoin transaction, you install a Bitcoin client on your computer. Can somebody please stop talking? Uh, or th second way is to use third party exchange, which is like Coinbase and Robinhood. Uh, with client, you get a wallet, which is like your bank account, but it's a long number. Uh, this this long password is verified by the client. You're like example of bit. This is the long number. The wallet is stored either on your hard drive, a USB, on a piece of paper. The problem with that one is, if you lose that hard drive or a USB or paper, you lose all your money. And it has happened. It has happened many times. Uh, so when you buy Bitcoin, it deposit Bitcoins into your wallet. It adds, like in, instead of 0.1 Bitcoin, now it's 0.2 Bitcoin. When you sell, same thing like a bank, it withdraws Bitcoin from your wallet. So your wallet is always up to date, like your bank account is up to date. It's very similar. Bank account sometimes takes at least a day to update it, but this update happens, as I say, within 10 minutes. Now, the easy, better way to do is, is third-party exchanges. Third-party exchange, so in this one, the client itself doesn't have their own personal wallet, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Uh, they exchange, they store wallet for each customer. And as I said, customer doesn't have access to their wallet per se, but this, with their bank account number, with the, with the exchange, the exchange also knows what the wallet is, which wallet is that is. So you open an account with the exchange like Bitcoin, uh, Coinbase. Coinbase is the biggest one, I think. Now, Robinhood also is, a, is the one which is became very famous because it was involved in other like uh, Robinhood just I'll, I'll say it again but since I'm talking about Robinhood they are, they do both they do cryptocurrency and they do stocks also and they got famous or infamous because of this meme stocks which they which they reddit started like AMC and uh, all the other ones game GameStop so you start with like Coinbase, it's similar to your brokerage account. Now in this, is always with every transaction, there are kind of options and futures trading. So Bitcoin also has options and future trading also. If you are, if you are uh, uh, risky, if you take and take the risk to do options on that, you can you can go through that. Now even more like every stocks uh, most of the stocks have like etf etf is exchange trend exchange traded traded funds they're like mutual funds most of the people know mutual fund uh, the f difference is that mutual fund is priced after the market closed each day etfs are like stocks they continuously during the day trading happening the etf prices also change and so so for cryptocurrency or for bitcoin this is GBTC, or the other one is Bito, Bito or Bito. Now, as I said, I have bought some GBTC six months ago. I don't know when. It was at uh, forty-five hundred dollars. Now it at thirty-two hundred dollars. So <laughs> I'm losing few few bucks here. But this was just my only transaction I have done. I have never bought uh, any Bitcoin directly, or uh, or uh, done any of that thing or. So, now there are hundreds of crypto coins. I mean, every day you hear something new. Uh, the Bitcoin is first and most popular. And you, you hear that Bitcoin, if you go to CNBC or any uh, news, uh, financial news TV show, uh, they'll always show what Bitcoin is doing. Like I watch CNBC first thing in the morning. Uh, and there is always on the bottom, like it says, stand, uh, Dow, Dow is up 200 points. They say big cryptocurrency is up 300 
$300. So that's always uh, in that. The second one is what is called Ethereum. This is a more advanced. It's not purely like Nak Nakamoto's uh, uh, way of doing things. Uh, and they are used for other than cryptocurrencies, uh, like contracts. I'll go through that in a contracts and other use of. Uh, there are this plat this is a platform it's not just you buy bitcoins you which you, companies use for their own application they can write on their own application on ethereum ethereum platform so like microsoft and jp morgan they have their internal uh, application based on ethereum platform then there are many others this is interesting, Dogecoin. I first I thought it was a dog coin. It started, I don't know how many, few months ago. It started as a joke. Truly, it was a joke. And then now it is one of the maybe third or fourth uh, most popular <laughs> currencies in there. It's just crazy what's happening. And these are all other ones which are, most of them I don't know. I just read it and I just put in there. Polkadot is one of that. I just read it something about this uh, today also that they're buying some other company or something. So this is a different type of cryptocurrency. Now exchanges are, like we said, centralized exchanges. You can buy cryptocurrency for fiat currency, dollar, euro. You can buy one cryptocurrency for another cryptocurrency. So you can say, I have this uh, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin. I want to buy Ether, Ether or Ethereum, and they'll do it. And you don't have to do anything. Again, as I said, these exchanges are like your stockbroker. Uh, these are the few exchanges which we talked about before. Uh, Robinhood is offering stocks and uh, cryptocurrency. Robinhood became very, very kind of stock of the town in uh, Wall Street. It, when it started, it went public, it was like 50 bucks. Now it's, I think it's about 20 bucks. But they did something wrong and uh, Security and Exchange Commission was going after them also. And then these are the other one, which I don't know much about them at, at all. So why use cryptocurrency? What's the advantage? As you can see, there is no central authority which controls that. Like bank controls are bank accounts here the those 15000 computers all which are nobody owns all of them kind of not control but keep track of everything and anyone with internet connection all over the world can uh, buy or sell bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies so this is very good for areas where even in USA there are a lot of people who don't have bank accounts uh, not that they, they will use and sell bitcoins, they won't trade it, but they can do some other things. I'll tell you what people do in there. So, and so all over the world, now there is no need for wire transfer, no Western Union, no central bank to central bank transaction. And it's a private transaction. It's like cash. So only buyer and seller know. Nobody else knows because it's all garbage, number of gar garbled, uh, garbled numbers in the system and nobody can re reverse engineer that or difficult to. So, and once transaction is done, you cannot say, oh, like in credit card, there is a, if you charge it and you say, oh, this is a mistake or somebody used my credit card wrong way, I want to reverse this transaction. You can do this with credit card. You cannot do that with the, uh, cryptocurrency bitcoins now negative is it's been good investment for early buyers so somebody who's bought it in 2016-17 they made millions or the, the day traders which are which go for like 10 cents difference in pr selling price and buying price I mean there is always a spread it there and they go they do transaction all day long that's the only thing they do at end of the day they close all their positions, so they're not worried about that. By the way, Bitcoin is actually traded 24 hours a day. Some place is traded, maybe not in US, some place else is traded because again, there is no central authority. There is no 
New York Stock Exchange. There is no Nasdaq, so it's traded all over, uh, all over the time. Uh, I mean, all 24 hours. Then the other thing which which always I got inter interested in this means as an investment was like in 2020. But fluctuation in daily prices are low, so large. Uh, I could not take it. So first of all. Because let's say you bought uh, a Bitcoin for 50,000 yesterday or day before it was 42,000. So you bought for 42,000. Now tomorrow it goes to 35,000. If you want to buy things, you lost money. You must 15% of your value. So it's not for buying things that way. Although that was people uh, started promoting that, that you can buy anything. Now PayPal has that and all the other but I, this is my personal opinion and this is where you should not take my word if you want to invest in that. If you just think that this is a good opportunity, go for it, you will make money, you may, you may lose money, you may make money. There was a, I was working at Intel and uh, uh, I, uh, somebody asked Intel's chairman, Intel prices were going up, so he said, what will Intel do tomorrow? He says, it will go up or it will go down, <laughs> one of the two things which will happen. <laughs> so that's what, uh, what's happening. Now, the other negative is, is like for illicit purpose, money laundering. You heard the ransomware, drug trade. So that's what they are used. Like uh, three, four months ago, uh, that meat company was, uh, their, their system was hacked. I mean, they, they locked out all of their transactions. They said, Give us $11 million worth of Bitcoin, then we'll release everything. And they, the company paid $11 million. So that's called ransomware. There are m many different type of ransomware. Sometimes I get a email that I got this thing for, from you and they somehow get to my account, my, my email address. And they say, I have bad information about you. And if you don't pay so many Bitcoins, I'll tell all your friends and... <laughs> And uh, everybody who knows you, because I have your all your contact information. I know, I never. So that's ransomware, and they uh, they always ask for Bitcoin. As I said, it's like cash, so you can't uh, uh, trace it. Now, one another example of ransomware which happened last year, and I don't remember the name of the company. There is a, there is a meat company which, uh, or something else. They, FBI trace them back. So somebody, like I said, if you have a large enough computer and US government has many supercomputers, they did it. I don't know how they did it. They didn't say, but they did it. They traced it back and they got most of the money back, not all of the money back. Now, what are the other potential use of blockchains? You may have heard of what is called NFT or non-fungible tokens. And this is, uh, this is becoming kind of a, these days, a uh, craze in here, but in a different way. Like this morning I just read, then Melania Trump is selling her white hat which she wore at some, some, in, uh, some uh, major places. So she's selling that, plus she's selling, she, she paints. She paints her eyes generally. And the token for her painting for the eye, also she is selling. The total value, the starting value, at least people think it will be auctioned. I don't know when, $250,000. And there are many uh, arts. People don't buy the art themselves. They buy this non-fungible tokens, NFTs. And people, I, I don't know whether they are traded in some way, like if I buy a painting NFT, whether I can sell it, most probably I can. So this is uh, use, you already is in use. Now in real estate transactions, uh, as you know, when you buy and sell uh, real estate, there is a deed which verifies that you are the owner. Where does it, where does it go? It goes to the uh, county recorder office where it's, it's recorded and on old time it was in a, on a film. First it was just paper, then it was in film, and now it's uh, all electronic. Uh, but 
people can uh, hack it. So that transaction can be done through blockchain. Nobody has done it because there are government involved in that. And government doesn't, I mean, these counties and recorders, they don't want to give up their power. And so generally governments are not in favor of blockchain, so the crypto uh, blockchain, use of blockchain. The other one is voting. Again, nobody has used it, uh, but it's very simple. I mean, you, your security is verified every time by 50,000, not 50,000, but whatever setup they do, a lot of machines, they are verified and they have to agree that yes, it is you who is voting. Uh, music royalties also, they started tracking uh, royalties that you can you can do royalties and it will be tracked. So if I, if I have an album and like m many of the singers, they actually sell their work after a certain time and they are not in their prime time. They sell the old music and the royalties from that get, get, get tracked. Then cross-border payment, medical data, medical data is very important. And uh, although they're supposed to be private, but seems like people can get it. IoT is uh, Internet of Things, if people don't know. So this is like your security camera or, uh, or uh, Alexa. And right now, if somebody gets your uh, password on this, they can hack it. They can look at your, you every day long, long if your camera is in your, in your uh, living room. So that can happen, but you can use uh, blockchain personal identity and although there is money laundering through uh, tracking uh, this bit blockchain there can be anti-money laundry tracking system and this last one i read and i think this is true ibm is already using you know Maersk is a the container com company they, they have lots of containers all over the world and ibm they track their supply chain through through blockchain. They have a blockchain system of their own. These are private systems and they've been using it. There are other companies also using blockchain and some of, most of them, I don't know how they use it, but this is what I found. That uh, there are people who do it for research, there are pilot program in development and in production. So like Visa, Verizon, Samsung, Amazon, Microsoft, all of them are using it. So. Everybody thinks blockchain is a very good technology, a very good technology. And one another thing which I uh, read uh, just recently, uh, you know, uh, Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. Web 1.0 was a, just internet. Everything was internet and uh, you just did browser and everything. In 2001, 2002, and after that, internet was not just for uh, browsing and things. People like Microsoft started their application on internet. So you don't have to buy that. You just subscribe. Like right now I use QuickBooks online. Actually PSCC uses that also. And it, it's in cloud, it's in internet. I just go through like anything and they keep the transaction. I don't have to worry about ever getting get, get my books lost or my, my, uh, my file on my computer lost. So they keep everything there. So that's Web 2.0. Web 3.0 is coming up. Now I don't know much about that right now, but it's, it will use blockchain technology so there is no central authority again. Like Microsoft has this authority the, that you, you can get Word subscription or Office subscription from them. At that time, something totally different happened. It just has started. People are not sure where it will go, but that's the trend which is going in there. Now this one is even difficult for me. Actually, a lot more difficult. So it's kind of least understood by me. So by my, what you do mining is that you have large computer system. And let me show you one rig which they, this is the system you, type of system you need. This is, there is a company called Riot Blockchain. It's based in Texas. And this is in one of their computer uh, room. See how many computers are there? <laughs> and they try to mine for Bitcoin. So, so you, mining people get uh, rewarded when they discover a solution of complex hashing uh, puzzle. 
it's for Bitcoin generally. Uh, and it will be difficult and it will become difficult and difficult as the, as I said, there are fewer and fewer Bitcoin to mine. So bit, miners receive Bitcoin as a reward for completing blocks of verified transaction, which are then added to blockchain. Again, I said, I don't understand it. I will not be able to answer many questions in there. But as I showed in the slide, which I showed, the, you need a very high powered computing system. And these are like graphic processing unit, which are used in, uh, in uh, electric, electric vehicles. A NVIDIA is the example, AMD is also, or what is called ASIC application specific. Uh, so they're, they're just, they are, they are designed to do this uh, type of thing. Uh, so they uh, they kind of set up this mining grid called farm. It can like you saw you see this. It can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Maybe this this cost maybe millions of dollars. But if you do want to do personally, you can do it in maybe a few thousand few tens of thousands of dollars. But get buying uh, finding Bitcoin these days is very hard. As I said, it was earlier. It was easy because there were a lot of coins to mine. Now there are there is scarcity of that, so you cannot mine uh, Bitcoin that easily. So it will not be worth it. You might, the other thing which is the problem, you see that many computer, how much electricity they would use. So there's people with the climate uh, change thing, they don't like it. And this one is, by the way, in some small town in Texas where the electricity is cheap. That's why they put it in their town. I don't remember the name of the town now. So this rot, this is the company which is doing that. Uh, they they uh, mine 6.25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes with that rig. Uh, it will half every four years. So it will Four years from now, it will be 3.125. And as I said, 21 million total Bitcoins, 19 million already mined. It's harder and harder to find. So that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll go through the chat. I'll stop this. Just a minute. And I'll stop share. So I'm, I'm reading, uh, so I'm starting from the top. Let me just go. Happy New Year, somebody said, okay. Okay. Now it says, will cryptocurrency trading be more popular than stock trading in future? Again, my opinion, no. There are, there are like millions of companies and their stock are traded worldwide. And there are millions of transactions happening every day. Again, this is my opinion. It will not do that. Since cryptocurrencies, oh, let me see. There is here something else. Uh, what do you think of buying metal coins or metal ETF for investing? Uh, so generally, I, I think you mean gold coins or gold as a metal ETF in that. Otherwise, uh, or platinum. Platinum is also very expensive, uh, rare. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Right? Gold coin. Gold coin. So uh, this is all tied to gold. And there is a... There is a ETF, not ETF, I would call it, which is called GLD, gold. And it tracks gold prices, GLD. I, I, I bought it before. I don't have right now. I bought it before. And the way people make money, one of my friends from Intel time is using this, and he makes money doing options on that because gold doesn't give you any dividend. So this GLD doesn't pay you any dividend. You are just waiting for gold prices to go up. And many people are gold, uh, kind of they think that gold will take up everything because 
the, as government debt is increasing, the only thing of value now remains gold. Although I don't know why that gold is value, that much value. Yes, it is rare. Yes, it is expensive. But why would that do that? One of my Intel friend always says, yeah, buy, mat buy gold, buy gold. He's been saying that for the last five years. But S&P has uh, beaten gold prices in last five years, especially in the last two years. Metal coins, okay. Since cryptocurrencies are knocked back by any institution, it will fail due to any cause. No, I think that's, that's very difficult. When you mean fail is like not like a based on any fiat currencies, right? So well, any anything can happen. Like it's what? like people say Iran will not fail. This company will not fail. Ultimately, those companies failed. But they are. We don't know what will happen in future, and this is a hidden thing. It even the person who who started it he can decide one point that day. I sold my cryptocurrency, I will fail it. No, no, that, that it cannot, you see, the Nakamoto, he knows his own wallet or he knows his own hash. He doesn't know any other hash, millions of hash. Yeah, but he can sell his coins. I'll make so the currency he, he, and then he, no, he can but, let it but, go. But that can, that has happened in silver when people, started yeah, one of yes. the group started exactly buying silver right. a lot you are exactly right that can that's going to happen one day maybe okay. 100 years 50 okay. years okay. i don't know in my opinion it uh, it is no different than stock of a of ibm it can go zero well, sure. sometimes but, even a country's currencies go to zero once currency, understand. country understand. fail but the so, but the beauty of this is there is no government involved in that government is terrible everywhere i think this is worse okay when you don't know who's controlling it understand nobody is controlling it that's the no that's that's not true somebody is controlling <laughs> okay uh, i think you anyway so this is opinion so i uh, yeah it's my opinion this how is number 21 million this is nakamoto decided that earlier he said this is it nobody can do it so that its value will will go up that's what the thing is this uh -huh. will regulator uh, just a minute will there be central authority yes uh, people are trying to regulate it but you see this is my thinking that government is way far behind technology. They don't even understand what is happening. I mean, I was listening to a Congress hearing on this same subject, and the congressmen were asking stupid questions. They have no idea. They didn't even talk to their most probably their aides to understand what this cryptocurrency does. So yes, but they are trying. Gensler is the SEC chairman right now. He is trying to do that, especially Robin Hood. He, he was after Robin Hood for a long, for a few months. Uh, you, can you mine crypto? Yes, you can mine Ether also. Ether is, uh, they have maximum is 84 million uh, maximum in there. Others, I don't know whether you can mine other cryptocurrencies. Yeah, I think um, my son, Cheyenne, is mining, you know, in the garage. Yeah. He has three video cards graphic cards yes so he has been mining for the last one year how much it, has he gotten anything no he's saying he gets something about 150 dollars a month okay somehow. yes so it's, it's a very small amount of bitcoin he can get right right yeah uh the question does a blockchain fall apart if a single node withdraws no because the whole blockchain is copied exactly on uh, uh, how many millions, I, uh, how many thousands computer. So it cannot fail. Uh, actually, uh, computers, uh, they can turn it off. I mean, the one node, it's not just fail. It's just turn it off. So 
uh, it is illegal yes uh, excuse me yes it's illegal and actually i think china has made it illegal also now china made it before some other uh, countries may have done it but on the other side of it brazil is trying to use their cryptocurrency as cu currency of the country so it's both ways uh, what are irs guidelines for profits that's uh, again i don't know much but uh, you are now there's uh, irs they, uh, just recently asked every all of this robin hood and everywhere else to report transactions like they report tra stock transactions so yet theoretically profit should be will be taxable the problem is that what is short term and what is long term is very very difficult to determine in, in cryptocurrencies because generally the way uh, uh, capital gain is calculated they they say first in first out means you bought first let's say ibm at uh, 120 dollars in january of 2021 and you sold it and then you bought it another at uh, ibm at 100 dollars in uh, june of 60, uh, 2021 if you sell $100, you have to match it with the first bot, first in, first out. That's how it is calculated. Before it was not that way, now it's that way. So it will be similar, but I am not sure whether it, it's a, a, what IRS will do. Okay. So there is a, from where, this is uh, what this guy, Nazir Ahmed Saab, he is saying my company specializes in Ethereum based DLT, vulnerability management. We have free trial for anyone interested in blockchain security management. Well, vulnerability is a big issue this field. Please let me know. Uh, if you can see the uh, chat, you will see his email address, which is nazir, nazir .ahmed at dalexus.com. How do you purchase NFT picture? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it's just like right now, Melania will be in auction off. Is NFT or NFT will be auctioned off? So you can go to <laughs> go to an auction site and then you you can buy that. Yes, uh, Kazi Habib Sahib is saying even gas stations are selling. Actually, same way there are Bitcoin machine already there. So, uh, was the inventor prosecuted? I don't think it was. He was arrested. Like I, at least I know that he is still unknown person or or group. So I may be wrong there. So. That that's the last one. Uh, I open if you want. I'll open it for kind of asking question again. If you if you something is I didn't answer or you have different question. <clears throat> yeah, I have a question. This is Wasim speaking. Yes, I have a question. <clears throat> Traditionally, all currencies, nationalist national currency systems, were backed by the produce and the natural resources of a country, traditionally, historically, up to until the last maybe few decades. Since cryptocurrencies are not backed by anything, any particular solid assets of any kind, or the product, productive capability of the citizens, are there any Islamic strictures against cryptocurrency in principle? Uh, I I don't think. First of all, I'm not a religious scholar. I'm just I'm just asking. Does anybody uh, else have any anything yeah. to say about that or any thoughts? First of all, uh, before anybody answer, uh, it was when it was not uh, based on GDP. It was based on gold reserves first. So gold was always everybody knew what was the price of gold. It was traded up and down. Uh, so that was it. Uh, GDP, it is, I don't think it was ever based on GDP. It is based on 
uh, debt of a, comp uh, of a uh, country because if there is a lot of higher debt and they default, that means that mm -hmm. dollar yeah. is in, in uh, uh, dollar is in danger of losing value. So like that's what I was giving example. Uh, two months ago, there was a question about this debt ceiling. But as far as Islamic, uh, it's always difficult. For, for me, I'm not a scholar, so I can't answer that. If anybody else has a answer on that. Uh, th there is a question about Amana Mutual Fund. What are your thoughts? I don't know about that. I heard it. I've never invested in that. Now, this is uh, uh, Amana Mutual Fund. I don't know what they invest in. Only thing I know is they don't invest in uh, like uh, alcohol and cigarette type of companies. That I know. Uh, so they, they, they don't in Invest in IBA, uh, this uh, Bank of America. Uh, yeah, bank system. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so yeah, but I, I don't know. Uh, you, you should, Amana should be. They, they are public, so you can you can look at it and see what what they have, it has done in last uh, five ten years. It's been around. Yeah, for uh, their years. performance is not good recently. What? What was that? It's any other stock you want to invest, invest. You don't want to, you don't invest. Why worry about it? Now, my personal uh, is yeah. that the whole economy of the world is based on interest. Whole economy, everything, Saudi Arabia, every place it's based on interest. So you cannot get away from interest. That's a fallacy that you can get away from interest. No, sometimes they call it commission, not interest. In Pakistan, they call it profit. Yeah. But so, uh, Askar Bhai, um, um, yeah, just a question with, with all of these, uh, this metaverse thing coming up, people are already looks like buying stuff on the metaverse, land and stuff. Yes. Which, uh, again, I, I don't, I cannot comprehend that, but. Uh, it, Cryptocurrency is being used and can be used for that, I suppose. Uh, so uh, what, uh, this is metaverse is now kind of everybody is is buying that. But in gaming industry, people are buying on that one, whatever what you call is metaverse or not. People are buying things, right? Like they buy sword to fight. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's well, in similar. Second Life, people used to buy houses and... Uh... Yeah, they a lot of things. things. I mean, but and that's game. So I don't house, know what happened to them later. Yeah, they. I don't know whether they. You, when you buy a house, you can sell it back to somebody. No, if there is somebody willing to buy it. Yeah. So metaverse, what Facebook and other people are doing is more of a, like, thing which is uh, not gaming or buying things, but like what one other example is that, when you are in a meeting you will see all the people in there now that avatar whatever you want to call it and they will act like you so that's metaverse and i don't know what the value of that is i mean we can see right now each other and we are doing metaverse right now yeah Asghar bhai uh, i have a question sure uh, how comfortable you feel you personally i mean because you have been in tech business and everything and uh, have studied this uh, for quite a long time and have seen it so how comfortable now you feel yourself uh, going into this uh, investing and making money through bitcoin and cryptocurrency i uh, frankly i don't feel comfortable as i said i have very small amount of this etf gbtc and that's mm -hmm. just for fun Right? I see. I, I, I did that uh, financial planning seminar a long time ago. There is a pyramid. Right. pyramid. Mm -hmm. The bottom of the pyramid is your emergency. When the top of the pyramid is if you lose, you won't sleep. Uh, you won't be able to mm -hmm. lose. You won't lose sleep at night. And so you can go even gambling. <laughs> right? So, right, right. Yeah, that's right. And people make money gambling. I, yeah, mean, I yeah. know a person, yeah, in a Pakistani yeah. person who... Yeah plays cards and he is making millions of dollars yeah that's right no but i mean this is not gambling is yeah. it 
No, it is they, not gambling. Yeah. Stock, this is not gambling. Regular yeah. stock has a value behind it, right? Yeah. That's what somebody said. Mm-hmm. There is a value. There is a company. There are people. There are there are products. There are services. Bitcoin right. doesn't have that. All right. Right. Well, any investing is a gambling. There is an element even in established companies. You hope it will go up, and if it go down, you lose. Yeah. So there is a but, little bit of gambling in it. No, Every but, time you buy something. Yeah, but, uh, but let's uh, just look at the history. S and P five hundred is the kind of index which is everybody uses it. For last fifty to seventy years, after nineteen thirty crash. it has given average 10% return if you can hold it for that long if you sell it at the lower price for sure mm. similarly yeah. real estate mm-hmm. there was a uh, that if you hold it for 5 to 7 years you will not lose money real right, estate right, right. my my uh, on real estate i, I bought uh, real estate my uh, i is 10 years and even more than that 10 years means let's say that you you have a rental property and you have 10 uh you you have your mortgage on that you should be able to hold that property for 10 years if there is no tenant in there mm. if you have to sell it you will be selling at the wrong time and you lose money all right right i i had a, well, yeah. me and one of my friend bought a, bought land in sacramento area like in 1989 and the prices kept going down and down and down <laughs> and 95 we sold it and we didn't lose money we made few thousand dollars on it right <laughs> <laughs> so okay so get right. in the bank <laughs> uh asgar bhai uh, one more question uh wo ye ke you know i you mentioned uh, ethereum and uh, companies platforms like that are being now being used by mega corporation big banks etc etc and uh, so h- how is it uh, something different from uh, that they are uh, they are not uh, indulging in cryptocurrency business or it no. is no let's, okay. well, let's take so that example. is something else they are using block blockchain technology for uh, uh, nicer purposes is it yes a very different purpose uh, let's yeah. say an example of like ibm and merx oh. merx is a container sh- c- company right i mean okay. merx and all container oh. ships in there and ibm their supply chain they mm. want to, they're using blockchain to keep it uh, secret first of all mm. but they want to be kind of you can do it with blockchain that this transaction is happening and the mm. next transaction is happening who Mm. who buys and who rents this container and what what mm. goods is in every container so that's what how they are using that's what i understand so people yeah. are using for that way or some of the like jp morgan they use for internal purposes okay like jp morgan is like 50000 employees oh uh, yeah that's right they use they use for that purpose with, with mm. in, within their system now it's mm. not a monetary transaction most probably so uh, the underlying transaction uh, and underlying uh, what you say uh, basis of uh, uh, cryptocurrency is blockchain technology but there uh, you can say that it is being used uh, in a in a uh, illegal way or something like that oh absolutely mm-hmm. as i said uh, illegal yeah. way is like uh, 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 drug money all right 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 it, it is hidden it's like cash mm-hmm. and the bitcoin is the mo- most uh, used medium for that type of thing so it would appear that the regulators are far behind the governments are far behind in understanding and catching up with the the crime that is going on they yes. don't know how to <laughs> apprehend them and uh, as you mentioned and i as i have seen in gas stations uh, they are doing transactions in bitcoins but there are no laws to uh, stop it right exactly those those i am not worried about the only thing i would worry about that those things is that there there will be higher fees on that transaction 
Let's see. When you buy from Safeway or the, mm. or the gas station, it will be higher fees than you go through some exchange. Mm -hmm. Right? So okay. that, that's the only thing I can think of, which is not illegal, I mean. Uh, yeah, there are no laws to, I mean. Ex exactly, and uh, Security and Exchange Commission is unable to really come and, with a, exactly. some coherent come thinking up. of what to do with it. Yeah, I think this, this is a state of confusion at this uh, at this moment. This is, I have said before, mm -hmm. every institution, including government, start with a very good intentions, but they cannot keep up with the changing time and changing technology. Every government has, has a problem with that. Achha, one last thing. When are you going to start doing it so that I can also start it? <laughs> What do you mean? Start buying Bitcoin? Yeah, yeah. No, I am at so, this stage. I, I am at this stage. In no, my, I know. I, no, not now, stage. but maybe in uh, in a year or two, when no. you do it, let us know. We will do. We'll follow you. No, you should not follow me. <laughs> first of all, because uh, I have lost a lot of money also. Asker, <laughs> bye. Yeah. Asker, bye. Yes. Um, I, I heard that uh, all the attendees will be get, get, getting one Bitcoin from you uh, today. <laughs> if I have any. If I have any. Okay, good. Yeah. So uh, just a, a couple of comments. Um, just today, I, I saw on the TV that Tesla is now accepting uh, Dogecoin. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's catching on. Tesla had said that about Bitcoin and then backed off. Exactly. Dogecoin, oh. they're accepting. Don't don't yeah. believe what Musk says. Elon. Yeah, I know. I he's know. He's a crazy guy. He's genius, but he's crazy. Yeah, he does a lot of uh, he does a lot of U-turns like somebody else. You know. Right. right. So the the uh, other thing is that uh, I I heard that some people are making money by running these mining algorithms on their Teslas because Teslas have a have, have a very powerful computer in them. I don't know how they do it. Maybe it's an app or something. But they are doing it in the Tesla. So like Mahmood Bhai was saying in the garage, you know, mm. having a computer, if you have a Tesla, you can run your algorithm. Because, uh, because we have the solar power, so electricity is no problem. Achha. So, uh, Asim, uh, Tesla has a lot of GPUs in there. Yeah, exactly. So people are, are using that to mine now. Exactly, they can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was interested in Mahmood Bhai's uh, son, Cheyenne doing that and how much you see you get you get very little unless you have a big rig right i mean like right. six bitcoins mm. per day for right right blockchain makes sense mm -hmm. for them to spend that much money because six six bitcoin is now three hundred thousand dollars almost yeah. and every day they get it they may spend money on uh, energy or whatever but that's worth it they have lots of employees also but right blockchain I'm looking at their price. This has been going down. It was forty dollars. Now it's at twenty dollars. Mm. Maybe my both buy has a has a whole fleet of Teslas in his garage. Which... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mahmood Bhai, are you uh, are you uh, participating in in this uh, mining thing with your no. son now? No, I don't. He um, doesn't have to do anything. It is just sitting there, you know, those traffic cars. It and happens automatically. Yeah. Oh, okay. 24 hours a day. So he doesn't but, do anything at all. You must be he, taking some interest in it. Yeah, I try to. But, when uh, can I come? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not mining. <laughs> okay. Good. I would buy, charge people and just tell them whatever you want to and charge them. That would be better getting money. Yeah. This is this is like when the train said Gujarati or Mehman talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um very think, interesting. Um, yeah. uh, it's four thirty, so um uh, uh, bhai. Yes. Yeah, abhi market ka PE ratio high hai. Is pe aapke, ab kuch comment kar hai. US I, market I ka PE it, ratio high. Advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I, whatever I say, no, I just government. Whatever you say, I should not believe. P the problem is well, okay, tech company okay, P very high. Like in tech company has been very good for me for the last three years. 
right? So and Microsoft was Microsoft was at one hundred and fifty dollars. Now it's about three hundred dollars in three years. Yeah, so perhaps we should have a separate session for uh, financial advice. No, I, that will not be me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it's uh, time to draw this. Um, okay, meeting. I think that's right. It's time. Um, so uh, thank you, uh, Sirvai, for uh, a very illuminating talk. Uh, I, I mean, at least I got a little bit more standing. It's still fuzzy, but uh, uh, at least it, it gives me a a leg up on uh, understanding it. And then perhaps we'll all go to Mahmood Bhai's garage and uh, and see what, what else is going on. Yeah, sure, anytime. But, yeah. but thank okay. you so much for, uh, for the good talk. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll have more sessions like this. We had some on uh, AI before. And, uh, also, please, uh, any topics that you want discussed, please uh, email, uh, let us know and then we can uh, change that. So until next time, uh, um, happy new year, and uh, we'll meet again next time, next month, inshallah. Thank you. Korea, both, both are Very interesting. Both interesting. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I, I am the better side for listening to his talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Asin, what was that? He tests his talks uh, uh, on me because I have zero knowledge of Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand anything? And it's the last some terminology now. He's done a very good job. Yeah, he has, he has yeah, very, very good hard. presentation. Must have worked very hard. And uh, putting everything in perspective was uh, really great uh, today. And, and, and Bhavi must have listened very hard to all the talks. Ah. Yeah. So, actually, so actually I, I enjoyed all this complexity. I mean, I don't understand, but still he was working so hard, reading so many books and preparing this talk. So I appreciate his hard work. Hey, and, and then yes, he was not do. bugging we me all, we in all his do. office reading books. We all, uh, we all appreciate uh, really. I'll say, it I'll say it was a about wonderful thing. Naseen was the first. Thank you very much. Listen to me. Naseen was the most probably the first Pakistani software in, engineer in Silicon Valley. In 1973, wow. so she wow. was hexadecimal better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> sure. and, and we know she. Converting numbers from one system to the other, I just take numbers and find patterns in that. And, and she while, while to, I'm cooking, she she <laughs> she, she, she used to uh, program in assembly language, mm. machine wow. language. Yeah. Back in machine. the days. Uh, with mini computers and microprocessors and oh, wow. things like that. Okay. And big IBM yeah. computer with big uh, yeah. magnetic tapes. Uh, we had to yes. ask the operator amongst that tape, labor this and this. Wow. Okay. That was Thank what, you for 40 years ago? 70s, in 70s. 70s, 70s. Wow. Mm. Great. I think Thank it would be nice to have a Zoom meeting, the next one on COVID. Vaccines, different vaccines, and are they worth it? What Bill Gates is saying right now, you know, about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need to find some doc, doc, more than one or two doctors. Right. We did that a COVID meeting in early 2021. Oh. Yeah, we, we had one, one meeting with uh, two meetings with doctors. Mm -hmm. but we get enough dose on the news. Yeah, that's right. We don't know what is right, what is wrong. Yeah, so another doctor will be that doctor's opinion, right? Mm -hmm. We have to make sense of all the things which we hear. Yeah, right. For ourselves. Okay, Ji. Chali, a bhook lag rahi hai dinner de nasri. Assalamualaikum. Chali. Early for dinner. Baat ghoom phir ke aajati hai peet pe. Khana do. Bitcoin se khareed lo khana. Kya match up sir? Maybe someday. Okay, ji. Chaliye. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon.